Welcome to the weekly Ransomware Roundup, your weekly summary about all things ransomware, data protection, data security, backup and DR, storage and cloud. As always, the links for these news stories can be found in the description below. Without further ado, this is the Roundup for the second week of April 2022. The Computer Emergency Response Team of Ukraine and security firm ESET disrupted an attempt by Sandworm, a Russian-linked hacker group, to attack the Ukrainian energy sector last week. Sandworm attempted to use a new version of the infamous InDestroyer malware and several disk wipers for Windows, Linux, and Solaris systems. The InDestroyer was last deployed by the group in 2016 to cut power in Ukraine and left hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians without electricity two days before Christmas. Speaking of thwarted ransomware attacks, Homeland Security agents blocked a cyber attack targeting a submarine cable in Hawaii that provides phone and internet services to several Pacific regions, including Japan, Australia, and mainland US. Analysts say if the threat actors had been successful, a massive statewide blackout, data leakage, or worse, could have occurred. Japanese tech giant Panasonic has fallen victim to another ransomware attack only six months after their last one. The company's Canadian branch suffered a data breach at the hands of Conti Ransomware Group, who uploaded 2.8 gigabytes of data stolen from the HR and accounting departments to their leak page. Nordex, one of the largest developers and manufacturers of wind turbines globally, was also attacked by Conti earlier this month. The company was forced to shut down IT systems and remote access to the managed turbines as a result. The infamous ransomware group commonly gains access to a corporate network after a device becomes infected with the bizarre loader or trickbot malware through successful phishing attempts. Conti isn't the only ransomware gang that's had a busy year. Cybersecurity researchers reported that 58% of ransomware attacks from January to March of this year were caused by Lockbit 2.0 and Conti, with the former accounting for 38% of the attacks. According to the report, Lockbit 2.0 has leaked the data of over 200 companies just during this first quarter. How can you avoid being the next one? Cybersecurity experts point to immutability as an essential component of a backup and DR solution to mitigate ransomware risks. Our team has put together a comprehensive blog showing how you can leverage immutability with Veeam's enterprise backup, replication, and restore features using a turnkey backup and DR appliance. Find the link in the description. Lastly, the promo of the week. Get a 100 terabyte SSO NAS appliance with built-in air-gapped storage repositories and power management controllers to protect against ransomware and malware with free shipping for $7,995. Check out Stonefly's website for more info. That's it for this weekly roundup. Stay safe and see you next week.